guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode of Fossil Friday I'm going to be attempting to prep an ammonite I found along the Jurassic Coast quite a few years ago. So I did attempt to prep this piece when I found it and didn't do a very good job doing it because I didn't really have the tools or the knowledge. So I'm going to give it a go today with my Dremel and a bit of Paraloid because this piece has the most beautiful suture lines on any ammonite I've found. So I'm going to show you guys. I will flip the camera over so you can see it properly but I'll just you know strain my arms and try and show you it like this so you can see it's got quite a large one in most of the block and then it's also got like a few little ones dotted around so actually in the matrix there's also a lot of fossils so it's quite a dense block and it just has loads going on and even the underside of it has ammonites and I just really like it it's just a really unusual piece and it was just so fun when I found it I was just looking around didn't spot anything and then I like double took and this was just lying in the foreshore and I couldn't believe it was an ammonite it was one of like my first proper good ammonite finds and so I thought today is a good day to actually bring it back to life so I'll flip you guys over and you can take a look I don't know the species of this ammonite but I will try and find it out and type it down below for you um, just because it's gone out my head I think it begins with a G if I remember correctly but I will clarify that but let's get to it so this is what it looks like and as you can see it's just stunning these suture lines have so much depth and detail to them they are just amazing so I think with a bit of paraloid on them they'll really come out and also this shell just has so many different colors in it all the different like minerals I just think it's going to turn out beautifully and I did attempt to clean the center of it using just a nail and you can see lots of little dots that I have made but I think I can clean it up a little bit more with my Dremel and then I'm just going to paraloid it because I must say it's not a bad piece just as it is like I think it's stunning in its own right and it almost looks like leaves I think and that's what when I found it I looked down and I was like is it a leaf fossil or like some ferns and it turns out it was the suture lines of the ammonite so it's really amazing and for those of you who aren't aware of suture lines they are beneath the ammonite shell so they're kind of like an extra detailing and we can use the variations in suture lines across different ammonite species to help identify which one we are looking at so the ribs the sutures and the shape of the ammonite can all help us identify what species it actually is and here's just a close-up of some of the other ones in the matrix I was talking about. So we've got a nice one here, which I think with a bit of paraloid, the shell will also look lovely. And then there's some smaller ones here, and this is a tiny little gastropod as well, which is lovely. So this is one side of the fossil, and now if I flip it over, I might have to do this with two hands. Let's have a go. Oh, no, I think I can do it. So you can see here all the crystalline cross-section of the ammonite, and then actually on the base, there's even more ammonites with crystal chambers look at that and there's so many in this one piece so it's really stunning so i'm really chuffed with this one and i hope i can help just make it look even more fabulous i'm going to be using the longest pointy nib from zoic paleotech just to really get in the center there and try and clean it up as best i can and then i think i'll use the chisel nib to kind of do the rest of it but there isn't actually much prep to do on this piece it's just kind of cleaning up the edges and then we can put some paraloid on it to really bring out the suture lines and the pattern in the shell i think
Okay, so I think I'm done with the Dremel now. So this is what it looks like. So there is the base of the shell in these sections here, but I can't really get any more detail out than that. So I've decided to leave it as it is. But it turned out so much better than I was expecting because I thought the shell was actually like completely like not even here but as I like took bits off it's almost just like a disformed puzzle so it must have got crushed before it got fossilized so you can see that it's all kind of disjointed a little bit so if I show you down here you can see it was almost like a step down and the center was a bit nasty but it is all there so you can see I haven't quite cleaned it up perfectly but I thought because paraloid is reversible I'll just paraloid it as it is and then I can always come back to it in the future when I get some better tools but I mean it's a stunning piece it, it's got so much detail going on I love over here like all the other ammonites so I'm going to paraloid those as well and then down the edges I mean it's amazing the crystals in these chambers I mean look at that so maybe one day I could go in the other side and see what the shell is like but for now I think this piece is just stunning I mean it's a chunky ammonite and just look at these sutures like I seriously thought they were leaves like ferns or something like that when I first found it and then it just turned out to be even better and it also stands on the base here it's almost like a mantelpiece like ornament already so it's perfect so I'm gonna go get the paraloid and just put a thin coat all over the shell and then we'll be done the finished product I mean just look how gorgeous this has turned out I think I might put a stronger coat of paraloid on at some point just to make it a little bit more shiny just because this part of the shell is a little bit dull but you can still see all the sutures are there but I mean in terms of a specimen this is just gorgeous I'm so happy with how this has turned out just look at that and I just can't get over how prominent these sutures are on this part here like it's just amazing and all the crystals this is one of my favorite pieces for sure i am so happy with this one look at that and i also love how the shell isn't quite perfect like all these little step downs here where the shell has obviously been crushed it just makes it so interesting it's such an unusual specimen there's just so much going on i really really love this piece and i love that you can actually see the cross section of the ammonite as well it's such a cool piece like look at the little crystals down here i mean it's really amazing this piece would probably look gorgeous sliced in half but i refuse <laughs> i love it as it is so i know i'm looking like a fashion icon right now but it's a bit it looks warm today but it's cold hence just what's going on with this outfit Anyway, we're on the second day because this piece actually took me two days to complete. I thought it was going to be a really easy prep and then it just kept throwing me surprises and I kept finding more bits of its shell and um, I'm just so happy with how it's turned out. I mean, look at that. What a specimen. Like, and it literally sits as I'm holding it. You know, that, that can go on any shelf and just look amazing. I don't have to worry about making a custom stand or anything like that. But also, if you guys know how to make custom stands for like massive ammonites, I'd be very interested because I've got my Megalitosaurus that is just currently taking up most of my bench in the garage. And I really want a way to display it inside my house. I haven't quite worked out how. So if you have a way of doing that, that could be a fun video so i'm gonna try and figure it out regardless but if you guys have already done the hard work for me i'd be very appreciative but i hope you enjoyed today's video 
I just, I mean, look at that. How cool is this piece? And like, look how many are on the base as well. You got a nice crystallized one there. There's so much going on in this one piece. I just, I love it. I can't get over the seatures. I mean, it's such a gorgeous example of them. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna stop showing it now. I feel like you guys have seen enough of it, but I just, I love it. And I will put an update on my grass man because I forgot to last week, didn't I? Or did I? I can't actually remember. But anyway, look after yourselves. I hope you're all doing well. I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. For those of you who aren't familiar, I thought I would just show you my mega lithosaurus. So this is the size of it. And now it's absolutely gorgeous. And I really want a way of propping it upright. Um, so I need to try and make a really, really strong stand for it. And I'm not quite sure how. And then this is a tiny lithosaurus ammonite. I just love the size difference. Just, just look at that. <laughs> so that one just sits on it just for cute comparison reasons. But yeah, so this is the specimen that I really want to make a stand for. And I also want to make a stand for this one as well. So yeah, if you guys have any tips on how to make custom stands, let me know. As promised, here he is over the past few days with the sunshine. His hair has got a little bit curly, so a few have like flopped over, but his hairdo is still going strong. So that's a little update.